Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Minecraft SMP Affinity Reborn. Now, I did actually release a video kind of explaining uh, what this SMP is all about um, on my last video, so be sure to go check that out on the reason why we call it Reborn. Um, I won't really get into it too much right now. I'm actually recording this not uh, necessarily live, but actually later on after recording the video uh, through some issues I was having, so this might be a little bit awkward, but right now we are just checking out my area. Um, this server is not even a week old um, as of today. I'm actually recording this the day that I am uploading it. Um, so nearby, uh, I actually do have uh, two different villages. Um, I got one right next door on my left side, as you can see right there. I got another village that's maybe about three, three, four hundred blocks away uh, over on my right side. Um, so pretty good spot. Uh, and then you'll see later on in the video that I do kind of point out a few different other things too. Um, now, like I said, it's less than a week old and I didn't really want to do a whole lot of things uh, without re actually like recording it for the series. Um, so I just have this little bitty setup here. Uh, I did get pretty lucky with a really good horse. Uh, the other one is not so bad itself either. Uh, my storage is starting to get a little out of control, but I got all my essentials that I will ever need for uh, at least starting off on uh, the server. But right over here, this is where I have my strip mine. And then just a little bit further uh, down into that strip mine, uh, there is actually a mine shaft down there. Um, I also, that nether portal, uh, it's right in between a fortress and a bastion. So that's going to make for some pretty interesting uh, content later on down the road. Um, now I did have a lot of resources from that strip mine. Reasoning for it is uh, just to be sure that I'm preparing for this massive project that uh, we're about to, s to start here. Um, I'm really excited for this and I've already come a long way on it. I'm really excited to show you guys. Now uh, I have not actually played Minecraft Survival in about f three, four years. <laughs> um, so I'm doing my very best not to die and uh, you can kind of see in the chat. Uh, we kind of give Adri a little bit of a hard time because she's already had 36 deaths in less than a week. Um, I'm still sitting at zero right now, but uh, getting full diamond armor was definitely a first thing for me uh, just because it's been so long since I've played. I've just stuck around in creative the last couple years. I haven't actually played legit uh, Minecraft. Um, but just taking another quick look around the area, uh, we'll start to look at the project that I'll be starting on so this is actually going to be a castle uh, build here so pretty big uh, for a, a return um, but I'm I'm excited for it the the fact that it's been so long since I played survival uh, it just makes me even more excited but what I'm playing right now uh, up in that area is mainly the keep uh, I'll have like one main tower and then uh, kind of build it all into one uh, giant structure um, I do have the wall kind of cutting out a little bit. I wanted to work with the natural terrain and actually make it appear taller or larger than what it really is. Um, I like another larger tower there in the front, just kind of overlooking that uh, that valley a little bit. Um, now some of these are actually going to change a little bit. They've already changed from the time that I've recorded this and the time that I'm doing this this audio recording, um, which you're about to see pretty soon. I'll, I'll have some updates in this video. Um, so kind of... You know, going along the way since it's survival, we might build a little bit and then all of a sudden tear it back down and redo it. Um, but if I ever do end up doing something like that, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Now, just heading up here to the very top, uh, we're going to get a little bit of a better look about uh, what we're working with. Um, now, as for this spot right here, I actually do want the main gate to be here. I feel like it's a pretty good spot for how the terrain is working. Um, now in terms of how to do that, I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I do want at least like two, maybe three gates, like an actual castle would. Um, but I do have a little bit of terrain that's sticking out here and there that I'd be able to work with that I think would make for a pretty cool, uh, cool gateway system, or at least like a city wall. So just kind of like looking over the valley a little bit. Um, I do actually end up wanting to have a village uh, in that valley as well. I probably will fill in that lake a little bit, or if not, I'll probably do something with it, but um, to just kind of clean it up a little bit. I am kind of confused, though, with that village out in the front of the valley. I'm, I'm curious if I should make it my own style or if I should 
stick with the Minecraft like basic village style and just kind of blend it in with the village that's already there. So let me know what you think in the comments on uh, which one I should do. Now for up here on the top, this is actually where I'm going to be making the keep. Um, the keep, if you're confused on what that is, quick Google search. <laughs> um, it is like the Lord's home or, or whatever it might be. But uh, now this area is a little larger um, than uh, I'd probably make the keep. Uh, so we're going to have to work a little bit with the terrain and see how large we really want to go. Uh, but from up here, let me just get a little bit higher. Sorry, it's a little bit awkward since I'm not recording this live. Um, you can see the view that you have from up here. And this is actually at the base of the mountains, which the keep is going to be even taller than this. So like I said, whole village slash like city out there in the valley. Um, and again, let me know what you think in the comments if I should make that my own style or if I should kind of blend it into the Minecraft village that's already there. Um, and like I said too, some of these uh, wall designs are actually going to change just a little bit, but you'll see when that happens. So uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and work on, <laughs> this is not live, but I'm going to work on the keep a little bit and uh, I'll be back in just a second and uh, I'll get you guys updated on where we're at. All right, welcome back. Uh, I have actually went ahead and created the structure to the keep. It is nighttime, so sorry about that. We'll sleep soon. So taking a look at this, uh, this keep here, um, I just wanted to start with that pretty much just to begin with. So we do have the gateway to the keep right there. Um, we do have uh, a lot of towers around the keep as well. Now for this turn right here, that like little wall, a little confused. Um, I might change that later on. Wow, I'm going really fast. This is not recorded live. That is a main tower. Uh, this is another wall that, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going so fast. These walls may change. I'm not too sure yet. Um, the, the curves, uh, I might play with a little bit more in the angles. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I really need to do this live. I'm so sorry. It's so unprofessional. I'm sorry for first time viewers, um, going down here. Uh, we are on the inside so you can get a little bit of an idea of how tall these walls are. Um, now these are not the max height that I'm going to go to. I'm going to go much, much taller than that. Um, and then also, like I said, this is just the like bare, the bare bone of the, of the keep. Um, this is just to get the general, uh, like scale of it uh and the size and i did actually fill in that ravine as well um i gotta work on my terrain skills a little bit um but just kind of standing down here uh like i said working with the terrain makes it seem much much taller and larger than what it really is um you saw how tall the walls were up there this is how tall they seem from down here um so a little bit of a optical uh trick on you um i also just really like working with terrain a lot uh, but we're going to go ahead and step a little bit further back to get another idea of uh, what this is starting to look like. And uh, it, it, it's actually a little difficult for me because the last three to four years I've been building in a texture pack uh, under Conquest. And vanilla is very, very different for me. And I'm trying to relearn how to build again. Um, and I'm also very detail oriented. So uh, castles are usually pretty, pretty flat walls. So um, I was confused about that random pumpkin there. Uh, but yeah, flat walls. I'm not not very familiar or comfortable with doing that. I always feel like anything that's very flat is not uh, very good looking. Um, but uh, I obviously am going to do a lot more to these walls. Um, but generally speaking, most castles that you look at, even in real life um, and in Minecraft, they're not detail oriented. They are actually very flat. So um, I'll. I'll be sure to, to get some, some really good focal points and get some color in there too. Uh, I have chests full of like andesite and cobblestone and lots and lots of wood too. So we're going to have a lot of detail on this. This is just to see the actual shape of the keep uh, begin to, uh, to form here. So just kind of walking around in a circle, uh, checking everything out. Uh, now I do have like this like ditch in the front here. I'm confused whether or not to fill it in or dig all the way around the keep and basically have to train terraform sorry uh this entire mountain away <laughs> in order to to make it seem like the keep is really on top of uh like a cliff but let me know what i th uh, what you think i should do um either fill in this hole or go ahead and dig around the entire castle basically and make it really appear like it's on its own up here on this mountain um 
just going to run around again for some more views. Um, and I apologize again. This should be recorded live. First time viewers, I promise. I'm not this, uh, <laughs> I'm not this uh, much of a rookie, I guess. Um, I am somewhat, but, uh, you know, it's a work in progress. Uh, I haven't recorded a whole lot these last few years. Um, so just uh, kind of taking a look what it looks like from down here again. So um, the natural train parts like that, what I just pointed out, and that right there too. I also need to work on those. So not too sure how to... Um, I don't know if they are fine the way they are or if I need to work on them some more. Um, I haven't even touched them, but that's just kind of how the, the, the keep kind of like fit in. Um, I don't know if you got ideas for fixing those, let me know too. Uh, I am all for taking in advice and aid and I stream uh, just about every day too, uh, building this stuff. So uh, backseat gaming allowed. <laughs> Um, but really that's about all I got for this episode. Next episode, we're going to start working on some detailing and also extending for the upper half of the keep. If you did enjoy it, please be sure you subscribe, uh, comment down below on some of the things I asked about. Please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. And like I said, I do stream very regularly. So check the links down below. Um, check out affinity network as well. There's a lot of other content creators on this server. I think you're going to see a lot of great things. So again, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys very very much uh this is a work in progress for me so hang tight i promise this is going to be something worthwhile thanks again have a good day